Good morning, family. This is Miss Norma. It's Friday, uh, and the weekend is here. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, let us pray for before our reading. Oh, I didn't say welcome, did I? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Amen. Amen. Our reading today for May 13th is entitled, The Greatest Lifeguard. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you this morning, Lord, for waking us up. Thank you for waking us up. Your blessings have already been prepared for us. They have gone out before us. Lord, your word encourages us to seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, Lord, will be added unto us. So, Father, as we seek you this morning, Lord, we thank you for the blessings. Order our steps, Lord, and help us to be obedient, obedient to the direction that you encourage us to go towards. Lord, remember our children, our grown-ups, our teenagers, and our little people. Bless our lineage, Abba Father. Heal our land, Abba Father. And Lord, help us not to grow weary in these troubling times that we live in. Keep a song in our heart. Praise upon our lips. Oh, bless us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, working on it. Our reading today for May the 13th is entitled, The Greatest Lifeguard. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall. For the Lord upholds him with his hand. Psalm 37, verses 23 and 24. That's the New International Version. His knees trembled beneath him. His eyes were a picture of pure terror. It wasn't the first time a student refused to jump off the diving board. In fact, I was becoming accustomed to it. But jumping off the diving board into the swimming pool below wasn't a new task, for he had already done it. Maybe his terror was associated with me, an adolescent co-teacher with no experience in catching him after he splashed down from the diving board. Had he seen through my mask of perfect composure Suppressing the panic that tightened my chest, I glanced up just in time to see his knees bend. His toes wiggled once or twice while my co-teacher encouraged him softly. The entire pool seemed to quiet the entire pool seemed to quiet while my heart beat faster. Before I could perceive the boy's slight movements, he jumped. Instantly, I reached for him, pulling him into the rescue tube. I smiled, showering him with encouragement. He had jumped, and I had caught him. This experience of catching a kid from off the diving board, although unnerving, was rewarding. Later in the afternoon, when I was on break, I sat down and thought about the whole experience. I was ecstatic that I had caught a kid, for in my mind, that was the same thing as saving him. I reflected on how our spiritual lives are much like that boy's, our spiritual lives are much like that boy's diving board experience. The problems we face the terrifying situations we find ourselves in are like dealing with a high diving board that we must jump from in order to reach our goals. Sometimes we can't see what's beyond the jump, for the waters are dark and their depths unfathomable. In addition, we wonder whether we will find ourselves safe and whole 
on the other side of the jump of life. In life, however, we often must make those leaps of faith, trusting that someone will catch us. Thankfully, there's an immense difference between my swimming pool diving board and the leaps of faith that God encourages us to make. That difference is this. Rather than a teenager waiting to catch you after you jump, it's the creator of heaven and earth who catches you. He will never let you drown. Our reading today was written by Madeline E. Mayashiro. Miyashiro. Mayashiro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Abba Father, for this reading. For being able to take that jump or that leap of faith and trust you with all the things that concern us. Lord, so many times we're standing there and we ask, what do I do? And your spirit says, jump, go ahead, move forward. And Lord, sometimes we are so filled with fear. But Father, you also said in your word, that perfect love casts out all fear. So help us to love you perfectly so that we don't have to fear and we can take that leap or jump of faith when you bid us to. Thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, for your love. And thank you, Lord, for this reading this morning that encourages us to jump. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. And amen again. Blessed is your name, Abba Father. Amen. There is no God like you. There is no God like you. And we thank you for being such a personal, on-time God. And Lord, truly, as the lesson read, the greatest lifeguard. When we jump out into your arms, we never have to worry. So thank you, Abba Father. And everyone, you all already know what I'm going to say. Send the songs so I can add them to the song list. I um, haven't received anything lately. Um, and I became aware on the other day that the videos were freezing on the ends. And I didn't realize that, so I'm truly sorry about that. When I get an opportunity, maybe I can go back and, I don't know, re-record them. But let me know. But I do apologize for that. And I'm hoping that um, as of yesterday, that was the end of it. So have a blessed day, everyone. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off. Have a blessed, wonderful day. The weekend is here. It's early. The Sabbath hasn't arrived yet, but happy Sabbath, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. This is Miss Norma signing off. Have a wonderful day. Mwah. I love you.